Another big issue hanging over this meeting in Fukuoka, trade tensions, trade war. Certainly we're seeing the impact of that showing up in the German economy. Do you think this is going to hang over the Osaka meeting as well in two weeks? We all hope that the trade tensions uh, will vanish, especially because there is an agreement that could be reached um, between the United States and China. This would be very helpful. If we look at the growth of the world economy, we see that these uh, pending questions are having really an impact on the development of the world. And when these man-made problems could be solved by men, this would be a solution. I have to ask you, uh, in terms of the economy, um, Jens Wiedemann, his name has come up many times as possibly being the next president of the European Central Bank. Uh, do you support him, uh, or are you in the camp that says, well, you know, he's been a bit hawkish, and this is a time when we're going to need somebody, potentially, who's ready to stimulate the economy. Where, how are you sorting that question out in his case? He is a very good central banker, and uh, anyone is admitting this. We are now discussing in Europe about how we will take our decision. It will be a common decision of all the different countries uh, involved, and uh, I think we will make it. Do you support him? Uh, he Dance is Vietnam. a very he is a very good guy, as I already said, and uh, there is a procedure how we discuss this question, and uh, this is starting. How about Italy? Uh, looks like the euro area, the eurozone leaders are looking at. Uh, launching you know some kind of order against them because they're falling out of compliance on their budget was that was that discussed here at the G20 and where do you expect that to go there has been not a debate uh, on G20 about this question really but we talk to each other and uh, we have some experience i think it was very wise how the european union acted the last year and the beginning of this year with uh, following the regulations and rules that we have and giving Italy the chance uh, to adopt to this. And I think this will be the way um, how we could proceed this time again.